What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. In this week's lesson, we're going to check out one of the few songs that we haven't checked out in full on this channel, and that's Ticks and Leeches. We are in a drop D tuning. Down in the description below, you can find a link for the tabs. All right, so the song opens up with bass, big drums, the guitar is going to swell in with an open, do a pick scrape and do a little mini lead idea in the beginning. Right? And that's the whole little intro for the guitar part. Okay? So we're gonna start off like I said, cool little pick scrapies, and then we're gonna do a little 14 and 12 on the D string. And then repeat that idea. Maybe put a little pinch harmonics in there. And then we're gonna pick out a power chord, 12, 14, 15. And then slide that up, a whole step, and then... Right? A little bit of that action, 14 and 12. And then you're gonna come down and get a real nice angry riff. Right? Two. And now I would start playing this off with power chords. And then single note on the A string. So it's two. And then three, two on the low string. And then O, three, O. Two, three. Cool. And then at the very end of it, the band drops out, but Jones keeps going, and it's single note. Except right there, you get some power chords. Gat gat. Two. Hold that out. Slide up to 14, and then pull off the open at the very end. Okay. So now the verse is going to start, right? And you're basically playing 14 on the low string three times, and then 12, like that. Okay, so that, that's what's going on there, except it's... Okay, and you go through that three or four times, and then at the very end, he, he sounds like he's got a little... I like to do 12 on the low string, and then a little pinch harmonic on the open fourth string, right? Um... Okay, so after he does those little notes, he comes down to a single note version of the main riff. And it's a little tricky because he puts fills in it at the end of the phrase every other time. And typical Jones, it's different every single time. So I'm going to play through it all and then I'll talk about the different fills. Okay. <laughs> Like that, all right? So it's, like I said, it's the main riff and then he repeats it in the different fill, all right? So the first one is three on the A, five on the D, open A string. Like that. Right, and then it comes after the, that O three O in the riff. Like that. And then the second one comes in after the three and the two. 
And that one, it's three, five, cross string, three in the A, five of the D, back three, three, O, open D. Like that, okay? I'll try to play that all together. Cool, hopefully that makes it clear. All right, so now we get the. That riff, right? And you're gonna go two, 10, two, nine, nine, five, four, oh, right? And then after you repeat that, it's gonna be a hammer on the two from open and then play the riff, all right? And you're also gonna be putting in some dead notes between everything. Okay? And you want to mute the 9540 section. Kind of like that. All right? And it's almost instead of dead notes, it almost sounds really good if you chug the two, right? riff you get into that right you have this two on the D. pull off two oh on the d three two oh on the a string three two and then pull off to start it all over again Second time it's three, two, oh. All right, and dig in a little bit, add a little pinch harmonics, it adds a nice, a lot of flavor and personality to that, and it sounds really nice, right? Um, so after that, that D string is gonna ring open, hit the harmonic playing live or loud, get a little feedback going, harmonics on the 12th fret, on the high strings, pick scrape down. So coming out of that pick scrape, we're going to go back into the next verse. You're not going to do the this time, you're just going to wait it out until your time to come back in, and it's going to be a heavy variation with some dead notes, and it sounds like this. Right? And that leads back into that. So you have this. Right? 2022, oh, two, two, all with the. 03, oh, 2 to 3. Kind of like that with the dead notes in between. And again, he's going to put a fill on it different from the other ones. Three, five, three, five. So cross string, same string. Three, low on the low string. get to that really awesome riff, right? And you're coming out of that chorus riff, you're gonna have this. So it's O two two O O five O three O one. 
okay? That's gonna repeat, and then after the O1, you hit five and five, fourth and third string, okay? And there's something cool that Jones does. I believe you go through this riff four times all the way through, and it's muted all the way through, and then he slowly lifts kind of like off the pedal on the palm mute, and then the very last time it's kind of opened up. And that kind of sounds like this. Really cool, they just slowly fade off that palm mute. And then we're into the really long extended breakdown and you're pretty much playing the same thing all the way through and that is this. So you have this nice little sus type chord, two, two, four. And then you lift that up so the melody note is on the D string. Then you have that, two, four, five, open and then you spread the D chord out similarly to what he does in the Stink Fist solo. So if this is your extended power chord, right, O, 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 two, three. Play the bass strings, then the high strings, then the bass strings, okay? Okay, so that's gonna go on for a little while and all of a sudden it's gonna get really loud and angry again. And you're basically gonna be doing that up an octave with a lot of 16th note strumming. And you wanna keep the same accent pattern that you did here. Right? But you're strumming faster, but those accents are still in the same place. Like that. All right, and then the very last time, I think you go through that five or six times. I don't recall that off the top of my head. Um, but you come here. Right back to that intro solo again. So you kind of palm mute. Same rhythm there, just way up here. Put that chord right now and then do a big. And that's the same as it was in the beginning of the song. That's not anything new. Then after that, you have a big hold out, you're open, there's gonna be some feedback. And then you're gonna got a, a variation of the chorus riff, which is really cool, right? It's kind of slidey around. Right, so you're sliding from two, 10, and nine, kind of back and forth. Right, 
And then you get this. Angry, it's real angry. I love it, right? So you have that um, the same chorus riff. Got, 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 got to ten to nine, but every other time it's nine nine five or nine nine nine. <laughs> Right? And then you can just, if you want to, you can probably just go right into your, your crazy chug, thrash, or you can start it off a little slowly. You know, whatever works. I think there's kind of a little bit of that in there. And then you have this 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, oh, two. with some open note chugging in there. And you can extend that. And there you go. Ticks and Leeches, one of the angriest songs off the Lateralis album and kind of in general, right? Gotta love those angry riffs from Jones and company. So like I said, down in the description below or the link for the tabs. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.